Hi, I'm Life Coach Landry, and the topic is nine signs that someone might be lying to you. Now, this doesn't mean 100% they're lying to you, but psychology has shown that people do certain things when they're lying, okay? So I'm going to give you nine ways to kind of pick up, okay? Number one would be throat clearing, okay? It's a flight or fight stress response that causes the need um, uh, to throat clear, Um, the moisture usually presents in the throat reroutes to the skin in a form of sweat and in the throat. And that's why they constantly start, start, um, clearing their throat. Okay. Hard swallowing like that. Similarly, the lack of moisture in the liar's throat due to the fight flight response. So what basically happens is not only does it start kicking up in here, but when they start lying, it starts going to the skin, which means they need more liquid in their throat. So they do some hard swallowing often referred to the Adam's apple jump. Okay. Number three would be jaw manipulation. Some liars open their mouths and, you know, they do things like this, you know, when they're trying to do something, the back and forth movement, um, is an attempt to moisture in their throat. Again, a lot of this has to do with the throat and moisture. Okay. Number four, eye pointing. You know, if I'm looking around, I'm doing stuff like that. Our eyes point to where our body wants to go. If I want out of a room and I'm talking to someone, I'm looking for my exit. Telegraphing the desire to physically and psychologically escape my conversation. Okay, uh, people who look at their watches telegraph the same message. They're signaling a desire to cut conversation short, and that typically is because they can't or don't want to keep backing up the lie that they're telling. Feet pointing. A lot of people don't know about this one. Liars often point their feet toward the door, signaling their desire to physically, psychologically escape a situation. Okay, like I mentioned earlier. Number six would be. Uh, a lack of empathetic uh, gestures, so to speak. Uh, liars typically experience difficulty um, using empathetic gestures, um, such as uh, finger pointing, um, light hand tapping, like on the table, or you know forehead movements. Denials con- combined with um, truthfulness, basically, uh, they have a hard time doing this. So th- what happens is they start um, kind of. Instead of being able to connect with you on a body style, they basically just go kind of stale and they use movements that are just awkward and don't seem right, right? You seem like they're just, you know, like, what are they thinking besides what they're saying? It's almost like their body and their words are going two different directions. Number seven would be backward head movement. Liars tend to move their heads slightly backwards when they lie. This subtle gesture is an attempt to kind of distance themselves from the source of their anxiety, which is you. So if they're kind of like this, and they're kind of coming back or they're going like that. They're trying to kind of pull away in their own psychological way. They tend to, you know, when you're engaged in someone like you're on a date, you're usually kind of like leaned a little forward because you're engaging in what you're saying. Okay. Which goes along with number eight, backward leaning. Same thing. Head movement and your back. The more someone leans back, they're either trying to assert themselves as if they don't care because they have a lie behind what they're saying anyways or they lean forward because they're trying to engage in what's being said okay now this one's interesting my number nine this is the uh, uh, kind of uh supra sternal notch they call it this is an indication the base of the neck um and it's a vulnerable part, vulnerable part of the body um and because it's an infiltration that can interfere with normal breathing so to speak when liars feel threatened um, they sometimes cover their most vulnerable spots. You'll notice someone, will, they'll be kind of doing this or they'll, they'll tuck their collar a little bit and they'll push it here. Um, you know, those kind of things, um, when women are lying, they'll play with their necklaces. You know, it, in other words, where your vulnerable spots are, you know, your spots are on your body is that your mind starts to recognize to cover those up because it feels imminent threat. And when you're lying, you feel like you're setting yourself up for an imminent threat. So they even know they're lying. Their subconscious is even telling them to start protecting themselves, okay? Uh, Subtle nonverbal cues that indicate deception uh, can provide support to determine a person's lying. Remember, not every one of these um, by themselves is going to help you recognize, okay? It's a lot of them combined. I'd say if you're getting four of the nine, three of the nine, you're likely being lied to in some way, okay? Some people are just nervous, but you should know that. I mean, if you've been around someone enough and all of a sudden these things are new that they're doing to you or they're under pressure and duress and you're asking them for something and now they're acting like that, it's likely they're substituting false information in place of telling you the truth and their mind is not processing it very well. 
okay? So I hope these tips help you. If you have any more questions, you can contact me on the email below, and I will talk to you soon.